Hello guys, 99 overall here and today we are back on the Mord's Bowringer series and we are in week 4 against the New York Giants. We are currently undefeated and uh, the Giants are 2 and something in 1. They have 1 tie. So let's see if we can pull out this win against the Giants at home and Bradford does not get the start that he wants as he is getting sacks he's getting incompletions stuff like that throughout this whole game so hopefully we can help Bradford out by using Mobo so here we go let's see if we can actually help him I mean hopefully we can like have some more good gains uh, or not gains, but like good games uh, with Mobo like thousand yard. Maybe we could get a thousand yards this season. Maybe. Uh, hopefully we can get about a hundred yards this game. Um, I'm not quite sure how many I got this game, but uh, it's about mm, I'd say 50 or so, uh, along with a touchdown that was nearly intercepted by Dominic Rogers Camardi. Uh, he's actually a pretty good corner uh, in real life and in Madden. So here AP is first carry gets a fumble. Uh, here you guys can see the replay just gets rocked by Landon Collins. Uh, you guys know that he's a hard hitting safety for the Giants. And here we get a nice toe drag uh, catch on the sidelines. And uh, as you guys can see a 20 yard reception. Uh, we will be making that. Uh, much higher and here Mobo doesn't even like try to catch it he just like waves his arm out like hey dude you can go catch that when no one else was there um so yeah here's another sack from Bradford I think he's pretty mad that his O-line's not really doing anything and it was a corner too uh who was it Eli Apple got a sack on Bradford uh Brad I was kind of open he could at least throw an incompletion rather than give up a sack so yeah here this one I thought he'd throw it to me but he gave it to Kyle Rudolph for some reason uh, which was weird here we go got another sideline grab uh, for Mobo uh, those of you that are new uh, to the series uh, Moritz, Moritz Boringer is the German guy uh, from Germany obviously that got picked by the Vikings last year in the draft um, so yeah I thought I, I'd make a franchise series with him this is like one of my only franchise series that I do on this channel so far uh, if you guys want me to do more I can do that but yeah you guys can search him up on Google and stuff like that you'll find some posts and stuff so yeah here's our good run blocking and AP in for his fourth touchdown of the season uh, we help uh, run block which is good I guess I, I run blocking I don't know what it is I'll check back with you guys next episode or something like that and uh, yeah should be should be fun Here, next week we get the Houston Texans at home and look at this uh, eight nice vintage AP rush uh, as you guys know in real life he's not on the Vikings anymore I miss him uh, he'll never be on the Vikings ever again because he's gone. I hope he retires actually. So here goes Mord Sporinger or Mobo all the way to the touchdown uh, or end zone. I don't know why I say touchdown. That's like what you do when you score. But all the way to the end zone. A nice breakaway nine route or go route, whatever you guys want to call it, streak, anything like that. And he showboats to the end zone. So we are up by. However many that is, I don't know, I can't do math, 17 to 31, 2, 3, well, 4, 4 points, we're at 4 points, uh, as you guys can see there, his stats, I don't know, that's, uh, I don't know, I kind of add random things into this video, but, uh, let's talk some real NFL news, uh, Jay Cutler and Colin Kaepernick go one sign, well, Matt McGloin, or however you say it, uh, he goes to the Eagles, and, uh, yeah, and then, TJ Yates goes to the Bills. How do all these like de er, decent to bad backups get signed, but not these starters? Like, I don't know if teams are waiting for after the draft or what, because I don't know. Teams that n need a quarterback, like the Texans, uh, who else needs a quarterback? Just some depth at quarterback, even. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Like, Jaguars, they probably need a quarterback. 
uh, Cardinals, uh, just some of those teams kind of need a quarterback. But here, this is almost a pick six until Adrian Peterson runs him out of bounds. Eli Apple with his second interception. Or, I don't know, is it his second or is it his first? I lost track. Uh, Bradford this year, I don't know, has like four interceptions already within four games. So it's not the best for Bradford. I'm pretty sure it's like half of them are tips. Uh, here's his second interception by Eli Apple. Uh, yeah, that's his second. I mean, that first one was his first. I tried to be a little bit more cautious, and look at that spectacular catch by Mobo. I, I mean, his spec catch is only like 70-something or 76, something like that. But uh, that is a pretty spectacular sketch if you ask me. Did I say sketch? I meant catch. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, here, Mobo does not hang on. It will be third down and uh yeah hopefully we can pick it up as we are down by three uh this drive does look promising as we might score uh we probably will score and look at this okay guys watch this okay that's a touchdown right his feet are touching right let me go to the replay and show you guys that was a touchdown the officials did not call this a touchdown look at this okay i will zoom up on his feet right here into the end zone tell me this was not a touchdown comment if you think it is a touchdown look at that his heels are in look at that his he both heels are in how is that not a touchdown madden if you guys hear any clinging that's my dog scratching his neck or something but look at this here we finally do get our touchdown that we needed uh that one was actually kind of rigged a little bit if you guys look at the replay here right through his arms should have been intercepted but hey we got it we got a touchdown we are up uh by a touchdown obviously uh so that is all good uh talking to the coach stuff like that now we are down giant scored on us we are down by three can we score and no it's an incompletion and it is game over so if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like comment down below and yeah so next week we face the houston texans so yeah i'll see you guys later remember be your best